hi everyone welcome back to my channel it's Moya Iola again so in this video I'm just going to show you guys how I created this look another glam look which is perfect for Christmas perfect for the new year season the festive season so if you want to see how I got this look then keep on watching with my hair I basically I'm due for wash day and like the winter is seriously drying up my hair so I'm probably going to be putting in a protective style for one of my next videos because seriously I mean my hair is really drying out but obviously in this video you will see the whole look and you know guys don't forget to subscribe down below click the like button if you do like these videos and don't remember to comment or share and I really appreciate it I'll see you guys in my next video bye bye straight in with my P Louise eyeshadow base I'm going in with that if you guys want your eyeshadow to pop this is perfect I've done my eyebrows already off camera guys if you want to see a detailed tutorial check that out and then going in with the pink shade from the Juvia's Palace um, sorry Juvia's Place palette um, I'm going in with the pink shade and I'm basically packing that into my crease color blending that away like I said guys in previous tutorials blend 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 I'm using a clean brush to blend away that color to the into my transition area and then I'm now using another color that I pointed to to pack on top of that and I'm continuously blending that out and I'm going in with a brown in another Juvia's Place palette and I'm packing that into the inner and outer corner of my eyes and basically using that in the center as well to blend out that color and then obviously with my technique to find my crease I'm used to, I've used the P Louise eyeshadow base again to basically um, plop, pop in the middle in the center of my eyes because I want the eyeshadow that I'm going to put in that area to pop as well so I've gone in with that and that's why I'm using a mixture of those two colors it seems I'm li literally probably packed I did pack all of that on top of that um, eyeshadow base and then I continue to blend that brown into the center and outer corners I popped on my mascara because I guess I was about to get it prepped for lashes and then I went into putting on my foundation so with my MAC Studio Fix foundation I'm using that um, and blending that in with a foundation brush I'm basically blending that all the way and then further blending with my beauty blender damp beauty blender then I go in with my concealer by Colourpop my no filter concealer um, and then I'm basically applying that into those areas and I've blended um, and I'm about to go in with my um, ebony bronze what is this called <laughs> um, LA girls can see no black opal not LA girls black opal stick foundation I don't know where my head went just there so basically this color is a bit darker it's the ebony bronze color um because I wanted my face to kind of like be a bit more dramatic this time around um so I'm blending that out blending that blending that out using my studio fix powder to basically first you know set and then oops I kind of went a bit overboard with my <laughs> with my setting powder i went a bit over the top but it's going to be fine i'll blend it again i'll blend it all out so you know i mean i was trying to obviously probably rush this i was probably doing it quite late at night i can't even remember but yeah and then i go with my sleek um contour palette and i'm blending that into my well i'm setting my contour um, with that and then I'm using my mineralized powder in deep dark to set my whole face so I'm blending that all out together as well um, and then I try to show you guys my eyeliner on camera oops I sneezed right there oh my gosh imagine how I felt at that moment thought my eyeliner would have gone everywhere so I thought I would show you guys my eyeliner as I have been promising to give you guys a tutorial but I'm still struggling to do this on camera as you can as you guys know this is still my early days on YouTube so I'm still trying to figure it all out and um, so I hope I showed you guys as best as I can and in time I will give you guys a better tutorial anyways and um, that's me applying my eyeliner by MAC and then with my favorite lashes I'm showing you guys I've applied the glue and it's key to make sure the glue is on each corner like in the front side every side of your lash line and at this time I've obviously applied the glue and I've continued with my face so that it can start to get tacky because that's the key so I've gone in with my um, highlighter my blush and um, blending all of that in and then I'm you know putting in my mineralized skin finish in dark before I obviously go back to my lashes so this is giving me that time so when you're applying your lashes eyelashes 
lashes <laughs> you need to apply it into the center of your eyes and as you can see me fanning it away that's just because I want it to get a bit more tacky it's so key for your eyelashes to, your lash glue to be tacky and not wet because that's when you make a big mess so I apply it in the center and then once the center is stuck on I then go in for the corners and literally it does take a few minutes does take a lot of practice but literally that's me trying to show you guys how it all works I will give you a more a detailed a better tutorial on this in due time so I'm going in with my liner now I think this is not chestnut I believe this is a lighter color but like I said all the information will be on the description box I went in with that and went straight in with my lip gloss from NYX and then I'm lining my eye waterline with my um, MAC liner and then I'm going with the same colors I applied on my eyeshadow eyelid I'm applying them on the, my lower lash line and um, so it's a pink and then I went in with a dark brown into this in the inner part um, and so that's it I was just probably talking about my bonnet and how I love it so much how it keeps my hair super moist and um, I didn't know what I was gonna do to my hair at this point I literally just like sprayed it with water and thought well what can I do and I created this hairstyle literally as I was filming this video <laughs> like and this is like probably gonna be one of my favorite go-to hairstyles from now on because it's so super easy I literally just fluffed my hair out I literally twisted it at the back like a big massive twist and I pinned it all up and that was it within seconds this was the hairstyle it's pretty much a fringe puff and I absolutely love it I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to subscribe share and I will see you guys on my next video bye